Uh, my name is Matt Kuman. I'm the group's pastor here at the Foundry. If we haven't got a chance to meet, I would love the chance to do that. Uh, maybe soon we can take you out for coffee. If not, I'd love to meet you here for coffee. We'll make you a cup of Joe here. Um, as we uh, before we get continued before we get continued that makes sense. Before we continue with group's questions today, um, I want to ask you the teaser question um, because we're looking at different roads uh, that we'll be on over the next year. I want you to think about cars or vehicles. Um, how many of you named your first car or named a few cars? I would love to talk, have you talk with your group about what you named your first car and why. All right, groups, so this week uh, was our second week on the teaching of content of character, um, and we're looking at the different characteristics that we should have in the back of our backpack for the road of life and what some of those things are going to entail. Last week, we talked about being teachable. This week, we talked about what it means to be righteous, um, and that's a bit of a confusing word because often we, when we think about righteousness, I know when I think about righteousness, I think about a lot of good deeds that I do that make me righteous, but yet what we learned, I hope, I hope you learned this week, is that this idea that righteousness is not something that we can attain by doing good things. Righteousness only happens by allowing Jesus Christ to live through our lives because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for our sins. Um, so good things will happen and good things will come out of our lives if we're living in righteousness, but those things will only point further towards Christ Jesus. So when you're thinking about the good behaviors that you have and that you're doing, our goal is that those good things only point to Christ because if they're not pointing to Christ, maybe think about who those, wh where that motive is and what those things are pointing to. So let's jump right into questions. Uh, the first one is this. When you hear the word righteous, what comes to mind? Question number two, when, uh, I want you to read first from Proverbs 2, verse 20, um, and then answer these questions. Um, when the verse says, to keep to the path of the righteous, what do you think that means, and how do you stick to those paths? What does that look like? Next thing I want you guys to read as a group a minute is from Genesis 6, verse 9 through 12. And then uh, you'll discuss this question together. Um, in Noah's days, you'll read about this. In Noah's day, there was a lot of corruption in the world, and he was trying to live outside of that. He was trying to still allow God to work through his life, even though he was surrounded by corruption. Um, here's a question. What kind of corruption do you see in the world today? Question number four, Noah stood out drastically from the culture around him, from uh, what was going outside of his area. He stood out drastically. If our world is corrupt, um, and if you talked about ways that our world is corrupt, if you believe that our world is corrupt, um, should we be standing out? And if the answer is yes to that, how can we be standing out in this culture? Question number five, um, and this is the last question out of our normal discussion, so I want you guys to spend some time in this one. It is so easy to stand by instead of stand out. I'm going to say that again. It's easy to stand by instead of stand out. Um, it's way easier to not participate in something corrupt and say, nope, I'm not, I'm not going to do it, so that makes me better. Um, they're bad people, but I'm just not going to participate. That's one thing. To take the next step... Um, to try and actually stop those things from happening is a very different world. So here's the questions that come out of this. What are you standing by with that you should be standing out in?
All right, groups, that is it for our normal discussion questions. Um, I hope you had some fun talking about some of the righteousness pieces and what our world is looking like today and how we as Christians can stand out in a culture that is saying otherwise. Um, if you have some time, I think the Digging Deeper section speaks even more into that. I'm going to give you a quick hint of what that looks like. It asks this question. Is there corruption in our world that we are letting into our lives because it seems normal and everyone else is doing it? Um, I think that's a very real question that we should wrestle with and look at our own lives and look at our kids' lives and what's happening in those things. So if you have time, go into that. If you don't, um, I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a great week.